Hello, hello, welcome to Speckle of Hope. My name is Fleur. I make faith-based content here on YouTube. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you're not alone if you're thinking about how to draw closer to God. Um, at times, the pursuit can feel, you know, somewhat difficult, um, confusing. Um, you can't help to wonder where to even begin. One thing for a fact is that um, we can all benefit from strengthening our relationship with God and drawing closer to Him. It's actually an admirable spiritual goal for Christians to have. So as 2023 comes to an end and as we embark on another new year, let us try to focus on our goal, which is to draw closer to God. I mean, this is exactly what the world needs. The good news is that the Bible makes it plain a number of steps that can be taken to strengthen our faith through closer relationship with God. Implementing those steps begins with minor decisions that we can begin making immediately. So in this video, I'd like to discuss some of those steps and um, how they can assist us in becoming more of who God intends for us to be. So the first thing that we can do to draw closer to God is acknowledging the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a wonderful, powerful component of the divine nature of God. To become the people that God intends for us to be, we require his presence in our lives as a conduit. And then through his power, we are able to receive wisdom, guidance, and assistance in any circumstance. The Holy Spirit also helps us to be more like Christ. Without him, we are powerless. As Christians or born-again believers, the Holy Spirit already resides in us. He is our teacher. He convicts us of our sinfulness. He guides us. Um, he empowers us. He's also our source of revelation, wisdom, and power. It would be a waste not to acknowledge him. You can do that first thing in the morning. So when you wake up, just acknowledge his presence and welcome him. In addition, why not take it a step further and recognize that he is with you throughout the day? It would also benefit you if you maintain communication with him. Keep a conscious awareness of his presence and seek his guidance throughout your day. Because you are aware that he is present and attentive, you have someone to lean on to whom you may talk to about issues or circumstances that arise throughout the day. The second thing that you can do to draw closer to God is to read and study the Bible. This is fundamental and you probably already know this, but the more time we spend in God's word, the more its powerful truth shapes our minds and draws us closer to God. John 8 verse 31 to 32 says, If you keep my word, you really are my disciples. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That verse doesn't say if you read my word once in a while or whenever it suits you. No, we are told to abide in God's word which means we need to make it a habit to read scripture every single day. Our faith will grow strong when we do that. Now, the third thing that we can do to draw closer to God is to pray. Now, take a moment to reflect on this question. How can one become closer to another person? The two most likely options that comes to mind is, number one, spending time with that person. And number two is having conversations with them. Now, those same two options can draw us closer to God, and we can do them both simultaneously through prayer. Being in God's presence while conversing with him is possible when we have a regular prayer life. Spending that time in prayer will draw us near to God and help us find inner peace. Now, here's a passage from Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7, that talks about the importance of prayer. And it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. 
and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. These verses remind us that God grants us peace and calms our anxieties when we pray. The fourth thing that we can do to draw closer to God is to obey God. You probably don't need me to tell you about how important it is to pay attention to what God has to say, but there's more to be learned about obedience from 1 John 2, verse 3 to 5. Now by this, we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. The Bible adds, whoever says, I know him, but does not obey his commands is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whomever keeps his word, God's love is perfected in him. This is how we know we are in him. Following God's commandments is more than merely honoring God. It is how we grow to know him on a deeper level according to this scripture. The things God requires of us will not always make sense, nor will they always be what we desire to do. But when we can submit our will and put him first, his love is perfected in us and we may genuinely live in him. The fifth thing that we can do to draw closer to God is to be generous. When we share our blessings with those around us, something amazing happens. Now, while the goal of giving is to benefit others, we undoubtedly benefit from our own acts of generosity. According to Proverbs 11 verse 25, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. No one is more generous than God, and exercising generosity allows us to be more like him and to get closer to him. So as we step into the new year, let us draw closer to our heavenly creator by acknowledging his presence, spending more time with him through prayer, and reading his word. God wants a relationship with us and promises to reward those who seek to draw closer to him. Okay, that is all that I have for today's video. Um, I thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button so that the word spreads. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.